Muslim Americans who grew up under the shadow of 9-11 have faced hostility and surveillance, mistrust and suspicion. In the 20 years since the terrorist attacks, they have also dealt with the questions about their Muslim faith and the doubts over their Americanness. As I just grew up and came into my identity and started to understand my, myself as a Muslim, um, I started to understand what it meant to be Muslim American and having those two identities coexist. And then when 9-11 came around and you go to school that day, I started you know, to understand that's why they're looking at me or you know, maybe uh, others are perceiving me differently now because um, I'm clearly Muslim. But they have also found ways to fight back against bias. I felt like empowered to take that step towards wearing the hijab, not only as a, a step towards my own faith, my own iman, um, but as kind of to, I want to take that step to represent my faith um, in that specific time where Muslims were kind of uh, on, on the spot. That aftermath has motivated people like Shukri Odo to do what she's doing, run for office. Born in Somalia, Olo fled civil war with her family and lived in refugee camps in Kenya for years before coming to the United States when she was 10. Her experiences from that time also helped form her identity. She is now seeking a council member seat in Kent, Washington. You know, uh, as a candidate especially who is visibly Muslim um, in front of cameras, right, that I have to be cautious about kind of how I conduct myself because I know that for some people it'll be the first time that they meet a Muslim or engage with a Muslim and I want to make sure that they know uh, that you know whatever stereotype or image that they had is not the reality for many of us. In the Kensington neighborhood in the Brooklyn borough of New York, Shahana Hanif recalls being called a terrorist while walking down the street. It was 2001, mere weeks after the twin towers of the World Trade Center fell. Shahana Hanif and her younger sister were walking to the local mosque from their Brooklyn home. Unsure, afraid, the girls ran. As the 20th anniversary of the September 11 terror attacks approaches, Hanif reflects on the impact that had on her decision to run for office. Being Muslim in Brooklyn is absolutely central to how I was raised and it's inseparable from the work I do and the kind of activism that shaped my growth post 9-11. After 9-11, an immediate uh, recollection is being called a terrorist um, as a nine-year-old with my sister as we were walking to the mosque uh, across the street. and. That has stayed in my body uh, and it's trauma that I'm holding and so I recognize that young people who grew up or, or have a, a vivid memory of 9-11 um, need support. On the opposite side of the country, although shares the same sentiment. I think it is actually one of the reasons why I'm running for office, this feeling of being othered and feeling like I don't belong here um, and pushing against that rhetoric and saying that this is also my home. This is the country where I've been the longest, uh, almost 23 years now, um, and wanting to create an environment where regardless of what other people do, that we know that we belong here, that we are safe here. United States Marine veteran Mansoor Shamsh, who served for 2000 to 2004, wonders how the harassment he received while in the military impacted his life. You know, if you've earned that title of U.S. Marine, you're all the same, right? And you're, you're willing to die for each other. So for me, it is very painful uh, uh, when I reflect on the, those years, especially the years later, uh, later now, 
uh, because I, I sometimes wonder now, like maybe I would have stayed in longer and uh, in the Marine Corps, maybe I would have retired from the Marine Corps had I, hadn't got, had I not gone through some of those experiences because they did uh, greatly impact me as a human being, as a person. I, I was a person at the end of the day. While booking accommodations in Niagara Falls recently, Shams told hotel receptionist the trip was for the children attending a house of worship rather than specify it was for a local mosque. Recently I was planning, uh, helping planning a trip for our Sunday school children to Niagara Falls and I'm helping with the accommodation part of it and when they said who's coming I, I kept I was like a house of worship <laughs> you know this is, this is like this is so sad right like because I was like maybe they'll treat me different maybe they're like oh we don't want them coming here I, I, don't, I don't know you know and this is this is 20 years after 9-11 <laughs> that I'm still having to feel this way so we haven't made much progress, right? I mean, I, I can't call that progress. He believes the kind of bias he experienced back then still exists. An ETV Bharat report.